We've all had to rely even more on our healthcare workers since the pandemic. But as you know, it's not just COVID that's impacting our hospitals. So when a New Mexico woman started getting terrible headaches, she was very concerned and had a lot of questions. That is until UNM hospital surgeons stepped in. I was just very busy as a consultant. Back in August, Cindy Nava had just come back from vacation and was getting ready to do more advocacy work for a state nonprofit. I was sitting in my desk actually here um, and started getting a mass headache. Completely unexpected, didn't know what was going on. She rushed to urgent care, except everything was extremely packed. When she finally got in to see someone, the doctor in there started asking me about symptoms, about anything beyond the headache. I felt tingling in my legs and I didn't think anything of it. But when I told him that, he immediately questioned it and said I had to have a, a CT scan. That's when doctors realized Nava had a tumor. They said, well, we don't want to scare you. And <laughs> I said, well, that's the worst thing to say if you don't want to scare me. After discussing options, Nava was eventually transferred to UNM Hospital, where there was newer technology for a less invasive procedure. So we can take the tumors out through a much, much smaller incision, smaller craniotomy. And patients, you know, do a lot better, can get out of the hospital quicker. And when it's the right case. Nava's tumor was much larger, the size of a golf ball, but it was also non-cancerous, a colloid cyst. So she was getting symptoms of obstructive hydrocephalus or a buildup of the cerebrospinal fluid, which normally is created in the brain and circulates around, couldn't circulate. So it's like a dam. It, it blocks it and builds it back up. All of these risks were coming to mind and I just had to find myself in a place of peace. About a week after her headache, Dr. Christian Bowers and his team performed the surgery. We basically get down to the lesion and then you're just delicately trying to remove the cyst, the tumor, the lesion without damaging those delicate structures. The surgery went so well, Nava was cleared to go to a wedding two days later. The support that I think I received from Dr. Bowers and so many of the, the nurses and the, the rest of the staff was just so fundamental and so important. She hopes her story brings attention to how important it is to have access to quality medical care. Now that I carry this lived experience, I really hope to take it to a whole other level and I hope to collaborate with allies like Dr. Bowers to ensure that our communities have that access. Joy Wang, KOB4.